Hi everyone, um, it's me, Jonathan, um, back with another video with you guys. Um, so this video is kind of going to be kind of all over the place. Um, I did just come back from a run. Um, it was pretty good. Um, I just finished a marathon not too long ago, so I'm kind of slowly getting back into it again. So if you would like to see a video of um, me on like a long run day or something of that nature as well. Um, so don't worry about me if I'm like drinking some of my protein stuff. Um, I just have like a whole bunch of stuff on my nightstand right now. Um, but so today's going to be kind of like random all over the place. So I hope you guys are just along for the ride basically. Um, that being said, um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I've missed filming a video for a bit, um, so I'm excited to get back into it. Um, yeah, so someone asked um, what I do as far as like my hair routine-esque kind of goes. Um, I do have uh, naturally curly hair. Um, so some of the stuff I do, I haven't really done anything with it right now. I just came back from a shower. Um, so... As far as just like um, conditioner or shampoo goes, um, I use the Curl Smith um, Shine Shampoo and Shine Conditioner. I also have used the Kevin Murphy um, one as well, um, which I absolutely love both. Um, both have worked really well for my um, curly hair. Um, so I always use these two products. Um, I only shampoo my hair maybe once a week or so. I try to not shampoo it as like long as possible, to be honest, because it just, you know, it does frizz out my hair and stuff like that. But I do use a ton of conditioner always, which I feel like has really helped my hair at least. Um, and then as far as like a leave-in product, um, I love the um, Kevin Murphy, uh, Killer, Killer Waves or Killer Curls as well as like the, I don't know what you would call this, like a leave-in, it's not like a, just leave-in product for curls and stuff like that. So usually I like to do that. Um, I do have like a diffuser that I use sometimes or I just let it dry out naturally and just kind of like, you know, scrunch in a little bit from the sides. Um, just to give it a little bit of shape. I don't go like, I usually try not to go up. I usually try to go sideways. Um, and then I do have the um, Denman brush as well that I use um, sometimes to help um, with my curls. Um, so that's pretty much what I use do for my, my hair. Um, nothing like too crazy. Um, I mean, I do have curly hair that's not, like, extremely, extremely tight curls, um, so, uh, but I do have very thick hair, like, very, very, very thick hair. I've been definitely blessed, um, with that. Um, I'm actually probably gonna get it cut this next week, um, at least just, like, the sides and stuff. I'll still keep the top part a little bit long, because I have been really enjoying my curls lately. Um, so yeah. There's that part. Um, moving along to um, some of the bags I want to show you today. Um, I recently um, became a certified personal trainer. Um, I did it more for myself because I just kind of wanted to do it. Oh, I don't know if you can see scotch here. I'm going to put you back down, please. No, down, down, down. Um, sorry. Um, I just did, you know, more, more for myself. Um, just because I wanted to do it, not because I'm going to take on, you know, clients. Maybe I will at some point, but, um, it was never, like, my true goal, you could say. Um, I've just always been passionate and love fitness. So I did treat myself. Um, I did get this bag off of Saks Off Fifth. Um, they were having a sale on this bag, particular bag, and then I got another, like, discount on it, or else I, I 
probably would not have bought it or because I couldn't really afford it. Um, but I did get this really cute um, MCM um, pouch bag with like the gold chain. Um, today was the first day of me actually like taking out and wearing it on the town, so to speak. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, obsessed. Um, it did come with like, like the card and stuff. So really, really excited. I do love MCM products a lot. Um, so and I've been wanting like a smaller, been really into like the more pouch-esque kind of crossbody bags. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to have it. Um, but it's also like 600 and some dollars and I just could not... For me and my budget, I cannot justify that price. Um, so I'm really happy that um, it was on sale and everything. Um, and I absolutely love it. I wish it was maybe a little bit bigger, but honestly, I can fit everything I need to in it. So I'm happy with that. So I just have like my um, like a McDonald's receipt, classy, um, my EpiPen. Um, I do have like this little coach. Um, a cologne um, that I got off of Nordstrom Rack. It's kind of like almost like a little um, roller-esque kind of thing. Um, so I have that with me. Um, and then I have my overpriced uh, Chanel lip balm as well. Um, this is like their, their boy line that they have. Yeah, boy Chanel lip balm. Um, I paid 40 bucks for it. Um, I probably have never been so scammed in my life, to be honest. Does that feel like I now have like these amazing kissable lips? No. No. Um, I do kind of like the packaging, but I feel like there are other luxury brands that have better for the same price or if not lower um so i don't necessarily recommend i will probably have this for the rest of my life um because i spent way too much on it um so and then the car keys um i have in there um and then i also have this in here it is a chanel um I wanted the Chanel mirror, but when I was looking online, they were sold out, um, like the compact mirror. So um, I bought their, um, it, I blinded you or what you saw, <laughs> sorry. Um, but the mirror and then um, just like, it's like a blotting sheet, which I mean, I still might even use the blotting sheets to be honest, once I like. I sweat a lot sometimes, so maybe if I get a little greasy, then I'll, you know, feel all rich and use those. Um, but anyways, that was just kind of like the overview of that bag, and I wanted to kind of move everything into my new bag I will be using tomorrow, probably. Um, I did get this one recently because Coach had a sale, and I went with a friend, and... It was just a special moment. So, um, this is the Pillow Tabby, and this is the small one. I forget what it's like, the number or what it's called. Um, but this is like my favorite color. Um, I saw it there, and I was like, I have to have it. Um, so I'm really excited to, you know, use it. Um, Yeah, I'm just absolutely love it. I wasn't the biggest, so I feel like now with Coach, it was like the pillow tabby, the pillow tabby, the pillow tabby, and I was just like, I'm not a you know trend follower, yada yada yada. But then I saw this pillow tabby, and I was like, okay, okay, I I will follow the trend, and I will get it because it's just too adorable not to and I am really glad I did um so you just have kind of like two compartments right here then you have your back slot right here um I think that's pretty standard there isn't a back pocket but it does come with like the little 
not really even a shoulder, like a forearm type thing, and it does come with the crossbody, which I will just be using it as a crossbody. It is super soft, very pillowy, um, which I absolutely love, so I was just gonna kind of like stick some of my stuff in there, so I could fit like my overpriced lip balm, um, Oh shoot, I don't have my wallet with me, but I do have my silver and Sam wallet that I'm using. Um, I'll probably fit in my, obviously my, my keys. Um, I don't know if this is too small for my bigger Chanel blue, so I might just still stick with my little coach one. I also have one by Mont Blanc as well that's in a similar size. Um, so I think I'll put that on. Um, I think I can still fit my little compact mirror. Yep, perfect. Um, and then honestly, I think I'm gonna put this in too. Um, I don't know if you can how well you guys can see. Um, but this is a um, a pearl bracelet that I got. Um, this is Banana Republic, I think. Um, I forget what these pearls are called, but it's like the irregular um, shapes and stuff, which I saw probably an ad like a year or two ago, um, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that, and then I got another ad, shocking, and I jumped the gun on it and did buy them, and I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful, I think it's timeless, um, definitely something a little bit different. I'm not the hugest jewelry person. Um, I have like this and then my silver ring that I wore or I like to wear a lot um, or my jade rings that I will wear too. Um, that's pretty much all the jewelry I really wear. Um, but I saw this so I think I'll stick this in here as well just in case you know I'm feeling a little spicy later on. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, it closes. It's just like the simple latch, magnetic latch. There's no um, button or anything to press. Um, but I think this is so freaking cute. And I just want to like squish it and stuff. But I also, huge fan of, of course it's all jumbled and jank. Huge fan of this MCM one too, um, with the gold chain. Um, Really, I don't think you can go wrong with many MCM or Coach products these days. Um, so absolutely, absolutely love both. Um, highly recommend. They're about similar size. You could probably fit a little bit more in the pillow tabby than you can. Um, this guy right here, just without it. At least for right now, because it's still pretty structured, because it's new. Um, I just don't want, you know, anything happening, like, with the zipper with it being all misshapen and stuff like that. Um, I do like to be a little bit careful with that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Um, I did want to share, um, because I do like cologne a lot as well, as you can tell, um, with, you know, Chanel and, um, other stuff. Um, but, uh, the clone I am wearing today, um, which is my, I want to say it's like one of my all time, all time, all time, all time favorites. And I will repurchase, repurchase, re always repurchase probably until they discontinue it, which it might already be discontinued. I have no idea to be honest. Um, but, um, this is, uh, by Commodity, um, and this is, uh, Commodity in Bergamot. I got so many compliments on this and I just felt so luxurious and clean and it's just the perfect smell and it's in such like a luxe bottle too. Everything just feels so expensive. I mean, you do pay a premium for it to be honest, um, but in my mind, totally worth it, worth the splurge. Definitely if you're in the area for it, nice spring summer clean um but a little uh more musty musty smell to it it's not like 
I have another one, um, uh, Lacoste, like, Essentials, which is just, like, pure clean. So this is, like, almost has, like, a, a little twist to it, I guess you could say, um, which I absolutely love. Um, so, uh, definitely check this one out, um, if you're in the market for, um, a nice, uh, cologne to wear. Um, so... I think that's really all I have for you guys right now. Um, let me know about what further other videos you want to see, um, what bags you want to see. Um, I'll keep, you know, rotating through um, my collection and different ones I'll be wearing. Um, let me know if you guys want to see my, uh, like my running in a day or uh, what I do in a day kind of thing. Um, those are a little bit harder just because I can't film at work, obviously, for um, numerous reasons. Um, but just like a weekend day, what I do, or like my running schedule kind of thing. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye!